You always hear stories and think that can never happen to me, but even a little feeling of unwellness can get you hospitalized for the rest of your life, especially if it's a message from the body organs known as the kidneys. This is the story of one child's journey through kidney failure, dialysis and the search for transplantation surgery. Ironically, she shares this pursuit with the medical personnel, a lifesaver who this time is also crying out for the ultimate gift, the gift of life. When it comes to the kidney, it is a totally different story because when a kidney is gone, a life is almost gone. As we go on with this show, think about how you can make life easy for somebody that is crying out for their kidneys. Next on the show, we hear from Beatrice Nakacha, a comprehensive nurse by profession, but she too is down with kidney failure. This is, a, this is the story of her battle. Madam, how are you? I'm not fine. You are not fine. Yes, please. Sorry about that. Mm. When did you start to feel this way? <coughs> Some nine months back. Mm. Mm. Nine months is a long time. It mm. is. Um, what, what happened? Okay. I just began with putting on weight and swelling in the face in the morning. Mm. Then later on, I could see the leg swelling too. A few weeks to came, came by, I couldn't breathe at night. So I had to, see and, to go and in my sack and see a medical personnel. When I went to see the medical personnel, they told me, I have a problem with my kidneys, which is a, a kidney, kid, kidney disease. They began me on treatment. I, I responded by one, one week, but then the next week I had to go back. It was severe and things were worsening. But before all this happened, what, how was your health? I, I, could, and I, I was having headache all the time mm. and I, was, I could take diclofenac every day. And then I could uh, swell sometimes in the neck which I, they, 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 they looked for. They investigated and found nothing was happening in the body. So, so what did they investigate from Beatrice? Investigated in, in very many hospitals and clinics. Masaka mm -hmm. and some clinics in Kampara. I also went to Mengo. I also went to Malago. But they found out nothing. Then later on, after some few months, it's when I developed this kidney disease. Wait. They investigated and told you there was nothing wrong with you? Before, because of the swellings mm. in the neck, they thought I could be having a disease. Mm. So they, they investigated all the diseases and everything was negative. Mm -hmm. Where were you being um, attended to from? Masaka mm. Hospital mm -hmm. by Dr. Chanden mm. and Dr. Zuwa. Mm. Yes, please. And these are the people who revealed to you that, you know, this is a problem with your kidney. Uh -huh. mm. They're the other one also. Kalangala district is made up of 84 islands scattered in the waters of Lake Victoria. According to the Kalangala district information officer, the government of Uganda considers Kalangala as one of the areas hardest to reach and hardest to stay in the country. This makes it hard for the district to attract and retain health personnel. Beatrice, a comprehensive nurse and midwife, was one of the few who managed to persevere through hard conditions in order to serve the people of Kalangala. Today, as she tells the tale of struggling for her life, I can only imagine how beaten she feels. And when, the, when I went to the doctor, he told me this is a kidney disease, you have to begin treatment. And I began treatment. Did you think it was that serious when he told you? Because I know about the kidney diseases, about how, uh, and I see patients suffering mm. from kidney diseases. So when he told me that, I just knew it is serious. Mm. I didn't hesitate, I also began, began treatment and I was taking the treatment. What did your family say about this? Did they understand it the they, way you did? They did, mm. they did. Mm. Where were you working before, nurse? 
Kalangala. Mm. Kalangala is the center for mm. in Kalangala district. Yes, please. Mm. Do you sometimes suspect that as you did work in the hospital, maybe you got infected by somebody, you know, any disease or any infection? Mm -hmm. mm. I don't think about that. Mm. I really don't. You have an insight. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. I really don't. Me too, it is, it is still bothering my mind. I don't know where the disease came from. Mm. You don't know? I don't know. But since I'm a medical personnel, just like we say, idiopathic, mm. no cause. So I think it just uh, the, the kidneys just failed. Mm. How hard or how easy has it been for you to to get treatment and to move here and there trying to make things work in your health? It has really been so hard mm. and I think it is, the, it is even the one bringing, it's adding on the hyperten uh, hypertension mm. which is increasing every day to me because it is stressing. When Beatrice reached Malago Hospital, the medical personnel informed her relatives that they had to retain her. She was informed that she had to be subjected to dialysis. The doctors talked about it like it was no big deal, but later, Beatrice realized it was a huge deal. Three times a week, you lay down for four hours, you get hooked up to a machine, and get your system cleaned. This is also very expensive financially. Uh, your medical personnel, so from your point of view, what are the causes of kidney failure that, you know, that a lay person can understand and relate with? Uh, there are very many causes, mm. but what I can say, everything can cause, every disease can cause kidney failure. Why? Anything that can interfere with a, with a, with a, with this organ, like malaria, like uh, uh, hepatitis, like uh, uh, any damage which can I don't know how I can call it, even feeding too mm. does cause kidney disease. But to me, when they investigated all this, what caused my kidneys to fail completely because I no longer pass urine completely. So, what caused that for your case? They have failed to find out the cause. Mm. They have failed completely. Everything is negative, whatever they investigate. They have done all tests, but they have failed to find the cause. Mm of which in medical language we say it is idiopathic. Mm. It is, has no cause. So no, we've, so they have so far failed to find out. But just how does that make you feel? It hurts me mm. because I know when I get a new kidney, when I get a, when I get a transplant, I don't know whether also that uh, kidney will, will not be affected or not because we, they have failed to find out. If they had found out the cause, at least it would have been treated, get a, a new kidney and know that everything is gone. But now I'm, uh, I, um, I love a new kidney and I want to be transplanted so that I, I get life, along another life. And then I, I don't know how it will go. Initially, it seemed to bring back some of her visuality, where she seemed to be okay. But later, the terrible feeling of sickness engulfed her again. It would drain her to the point beyond relief. This is a person who was used to taking the pain away from others, and now she could not take it away from her own body. Beatrice felt so helpless. But now I just want to know what's going on now. What, what? Are you getting treatment? Are you on dialysis? What's going on? Right now, I'm on dialysis. Mm. Of which, because I, since I'm no longer passing urine, there's no way fluids are coming out. I'm on, I began dialysis, of which dialysis I have to pay 500 every week. 500,000? 500,000. Mm. Every week only for dialysis. Well, how, how, how many times in a week? Thrice, mm. but it's supposed to be thrice, but because of 
finance. Mm. I have to be there twice. I go there on Monday and Thursday. Mm. Then minus other treatment because they, there's, there's where they request for a scan. You go for a scan in Rago, they don't do that scan. I have to go to private and in private is 200 like uh, on Monday. I had to move for a scan and they charged me in Mingo 100 mm. scan. And I've paid 500 there. I have to buy tablets for the hypertensive. And then I have a lot of ration. So I'm on dialysis right now. Mm. How old are you? I'm 27 years. Were you married? I'm not married. Mm. I was not married. You were not married when this happened? Yes. Please. So who helps you? Just like Because that. you're having daily bills. They're not even weekly bills. Mm. These are daily bills according to what you've told me. It is. So who helps you? My sisters mm. and my brothers. Mm. Plus friends. When I'm down completely, when my sisters, because I will not say that it's everything is coming from my sisters, mm. because they don't have that. And my brothers, they don't have that. What I do is calling friends. There are some workmates, there are some hobbies and oggies. I call mm. them, please, if you can help me with 100. Mm. I mean, we'll go for dialysis, but I need this money. Yes, please. And some do respond. So that's how I'm still surviving. Mm. I don't know when every I have moved in, and everyone asking for money, and I see they're tired, and uh, I need. I don't know where I run to afterwards. Sorry, mm. sorry about that.